This will be my last video tonight. Let's see if I can spit some knowledge on this one. I wrote the title without having nothing really to say. I just read a message from somebody. That I'm weird. I feel like giving an explanation for the message. I'm going to make up a story. Okay. There's this man. And he's walking down this road. And he's minding his own business thinking about um, what he's going to do when he gets home. He's got some good news and some bad news. And he's just walking down this road. He's got this drama and this stress. Comes across about 15, 16 little teenagers sitting there. Hey, man. Got a cigarette? I don't smoke. And the man continues to walk. One of the teenagers cusses and the man walks a little bit further. He's not thinking nothing of it. Someone throws something. Hits him in the shoulder. He spins around and screams and yells and full of rage and anger. And two inches from attacking these kids. And then something kicked in. The other side. Gains his composure and walks away. Calming down, he walks a little further. It begins to rain. It's kind of chilly, so he's pepping up his pep. Walk is going a little hard, a little stronger. He's moving a little faster, trying to hurry up. Get to the house. Tell the family and the good news. Just as a, he gets to an edge of the block, and I stops and grabs his head, you know. Time tired. Car comes by, splashes water on him. <laughs> Bad enough is raining, and water splashed on you. He's angry, mad, screams and yells. Just yells and screams and runs up to the car and is at the verge of just popping the window in and then something clicks. Go up to the other side. I ain't gonna let you get me down today. He walks another block, turns into his yard, son runs out to greet him. How's your day today, Dad? All right, okay. Goes on in the house, takes his wet stuff off. I'll be back downstairs. He tells his son. He goes back downstairs. You know, he gets his clothes changed. So he's sitting there, and they're all getting together. His wife comes out the back. He looks at his family. He tells him, "I lost my job." Today. Little kids threw a bottle at me and I cut my shoulder. Got splashed with water and the only check I had that's ruined. We have no money. We have nothing. You think a man at his end you know, it's just rage. This, this good and evil fight. He could have flipped out. Could have did some bad things. A few people recently in the news have killed themselves and attempted to kill family members because of their finances are so bad. And when all was bad and all was against this guy, 
had nothing to do, nowhere to go, and was at the end, he just said, fuck it. If life is about struggles, then why should I make it harder for anybody else? Why should I let my demon destroy me? So he devised a way for himself never to get mad. People damn near spit on him before he gets enraged. It's like the Incredible Hulk. You can't get mad. You let the bad side of you out. You destroy yourself and those around you. So, this guy devised a box. And a long time ago, whenever that bad guy would get so bad, the box would open up by itself and suck him into it. And this man never found himself angry. So, people who listen to this story, what the fuck are you saying? I'm saying sometimes we need to start letting that box open. Sometimes we need to stop letting ourselves just be mad over bullshit. Sometimes we need to just check it at the door. Sometimes we need to just grow up. Sometimes we need to just turn the other cheek. And sometimes we need not speak. So, the true moral to that story is this. Every man has his demon. Every man has his angel. Every man has good and bad in every decision they make. Every man has two sides. And some of us men choose to lock that demon in that box. And some of us don't even have a box to put our demon in. Some people can never understand the strain and drama in someone else's life. That's why I always try to look at it from the other person's perspective. Because when you're younger, you need and you demand and you want respect. When you're older, you've learned and gained and obtained the knowledge to command respect without asking for it. When does a peacock show its feathers? But if you always strutting and strutting, always showing what you got, then everybody knows who you are. And if I already know who you are, why should I respect you if I can honestly see you don't respect yourself? A man has two sides. We keep the devil in the box. A real man knows when to open the box. The box is never opened on a humbug because opening this box may end you up end you up you may end up in a box by opening this box you could be living in a box if you open this box you can be lying in a box if you open this box a real man is scared of his devil because if you control your devil and you let it out, you better be prepared to deal with whatever it gives you. Man, has two sides. <laughs>